Hello guys. As of right now, um, when I am recording this, it is Christmas time. I just got this game uh, as a Christmas present from my parents, along with the new headset I am also using. Um, so, yeah guys, I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to make a Let's Play out of it, and yes. Uh, saving. I've been really excited for this game. Automatic cross save. Uh, I don't see why I need automatic cross save, but hey, yeah. Uh, never know. Okay, saving complete. I'm not gonna be playing with this. Uh, this with internet. World of Final Fantasy. Now the headset I'm using actually uh, is a really good one, in my opinion. It's a uh, a comma PS4 and mobile device. It's called a Triton. It says um, I'm using that to both listen to the game, so that way you guys don't hear the feedback from my TV, and I'm also using it to talk as well. So I'm going to go ahead and press any button, preferably X. And we're going to get started Final on our, Fantasy. Oh, that's nice. On our grand adventure that has yet to come. So, config, obviously, we want our message speed to go crazy fast, just in case we start getting annoyed with the slowness. Battle speed, let's keep it medium. Uh, battle menu. I say let's go classic. Um, battle mode. Whenever it comes to an ATB game, I like to have my battle mode set to wait, because when I'm making decisions, I like to stop and process. Uh, I don't like having to be, like, active and be like, oh, crap, I have time limit. I, I'm about to die. I need to make this really quick decision, so I'm going to have it set to wait. Uh, battle theme. Can we? Yeah, we can. Default. Are you going to play the sample? That's pretty upbeat. I like that. Okay, that's all it has so far. Let's just go with default. I'm going to go with English because I'm going to assume most of my viewers are English. Speak English, so... Cutscene voices... Yes, on, obviously. Why would you not want cutscene voices on? I know I would. So, voice volume. We're going to turn it up. Uh, about all the way. About, like, there. About three quarters, you know? That way it's not, like, completely that bad. So let's turn this down a bit, along with the sound effects. I like to have my sound effects a little lower than my music. That way I hear the music and get a good vibe. Um, but when it comes to voices and dialogue, I want to hear that. Automatic cross save, we already made that choice. Okay. Let's save. Okay. I don't even hear the music now. Oh well. New game. Automatic cross save is enabled. Whenever you save your game, the save will be uploaded to the server. This feature can be disabled. I should probably disable that, actually. Because I have a feeling it's going to annoy me every time I save now. And be like, oh, I cannot connect to the server. Huh. Prologue. Awake at last. Tick tock,
to wake up. Make it? The boss hates when I'm late. Okay, guys. So I'm probably gonna be muting myself whenever there's a cut scene. And again, and again it's, it's not, not like business, business has picked up any. Um. So, let's see. I assume Maybe we have to we should start cars. selling sandwiches along, along with the coffee. coffee. You might be lost. The streets, the streets sure, sure are quiet okay. today. Hey, I'm here. Huh? How'd she get in if no one's here yet? Good morning. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Mm -hmm. oh, right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right, right. That's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on, get it together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. your age, huh? Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, last time I checked, little bro, I've been around a few minutes longer than you. <sighs> okay, okay. I get it already. Very sorry. <laughs> so, what's up? I'm all ears. Well, you don't have to get all sarcastic. Uh, you really are all ears. Uh, what? Forget it. So long. Have you seen anybody this morning? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm looking right at you, aren't I? And there's that customer. What? Ah! Oh, hello. You didn't even see her, dude. Uh, yeah, but. Ah! Uh, look, come with me right now. Well, easy. <laughs> So 
So it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just... I mean no one. Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. But uh, rain matters. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama! Right there! Ah, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the got it! Huh? Hey, hey! You can't just leave! Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm here to help out. Does anyone have any questions? Wait, I've got tons of questions! Why were you sitting on my head? And how long can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I see why Inna Crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused? Uh, hey, whoa, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset too. We'll start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes please. But I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. You live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm good with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll have to go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. Barrage keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct! Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles! Miracles? Our arms can do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them! You were masters of them! Powerful living illusions known as mirages! In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you and those are the seven strongest mirages of all! With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world! Oh. So... We could have ruled the world? Because, what, we control these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But I'm not the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own Prismerium. So what does it do? With this Prismerium, the mirage inside becomes yours, and you can make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's the try it right now in glorious combat! Wait, what? Huh? So this is gonna be like a tutorial sequence, I'm guessing. <laughs> Ha! 
There's several parts I've already noticed in the entire game okay, so far. Go ahead and throw some attacks out there. That um, kind of show that the game is not. It's not too serious. Kind of willing to be fun. The amount of AP you need depends on the what you're trying to do. So make this sure you use them wisely. I already know how active time battle works. Okay. So you can attack, like, anything, really. Yeah, that's the way to the do it! Battle, press L1 to open a more complete list of commands. To some of you, the classic menu style may look very familiar. There are some commands, for example, items, that can be selected from this full list. If you've chosen active mode, time continues to flow while you while the menu is open, so be careful. One last thing, you can pick up and choose your targets when you use the full menu. This comes in handy when you want more control over the fight. Right. I think I've seen enough for one to tussle. That was a good fight. The fin command. Oh. They figure it out yet? The two of you? We're unsurpassed. No, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude. Seriously? Dude, but seriously! It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they lose the mirages they had, they've been the stripped of all their memories of the mirages too? I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely unaffected. What? Listen, let me show you something. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay, so like... You're saying whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. 
Our family? Huh? Well, I guess it does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> <sighs> Chapter 1 Land of the Lilikin So, this must be Grimoire. What? Awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. Grimoire, the smaller people are called Lilikin, and the taller people are called Giant with a J. The twins can switch freely between these forms. To change rain, press L and circle. To change lawn, press L and square. Although you're free to strut around as the either size, you will start combat in your current form, so it's never a bad idea to have stacks set up for both situations. Okay. Tapping into the tip jar. The tips... Okay, so it's just tips, basically. Got it. I so guess we should head straight down this path? path? It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chick. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. So our first one's going to be a, cho a Chocobo. Or as it wants to call it so far, a Choco Chick. I didn't even go in giant form. Why is he a giant? We'll switch back. <laughs> I didn't enter in giant form. So what now? Okay, there we go. You're going to need this. It looks sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chicks prismarium. Every time you find a new of the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time to mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening, the choco chip, then the use your prism. Okay. To order to imprison a mirage, you'll need an empty prism compatible with that mirage. But there's some good news, and a crow will provide you with your first compatible prism whenever you encounter a new mirage. Huh? Why doesn't Anna Crow just fork over the whole lot of them right now? Come on, there's no fun in that. Where's the fun in that? Besides, she doesn't want to... She doesn't do bulk orders. Don't worry, you'll be able to befriend almost every Mirage you meet eventually, but be sure to take the time to get to know the friends you have before looking for new ones. All about prismariums. Once a prism holds a mirage, it is known as a prismarium. A mirage hold a mirage's prismarium allows you to use the mirage in battle. If you look closely at the prismarium, you can see a miniature world inside it. I I don't see a miniature world inside that prismarium. Or does it mean the cube one and not the circle? Oh well. They're like snow globes, but be nice and don't try to shake them. 
So to recap, you start with an empty prism, imprisoning a mirage in the prism turns it into a prismarium. The prismariums let you add the mirage to your stacks and use it in battle. Even if you fail to imprison the mirage, you won't lose the prism, so there's no need to hold back. Good luck. Okay, so we want to imprison this one. Mirage Data and Libra Ability. If you press Options button during battle, a window will open containing info on the Mirage you are facing with the Libra, Libra Ability. You can see even more detailed information, and you can switch between Mirages with L1 and R1. Each Mirage is strong or weak, certainly is strong or weak against certain elements or status ailments. Learn to identify the following symbols when looking at Mirage data. Wind, thunder, ice, fire, water, earth, light, dark, poison, confusion, sleep, blindness, death, slow, berserk, oblivion. This symbol nullifies elemental attack and this symbol absorbs elemental attack. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So those two are both bad when I see that. Okay. In addition to status elements, characters sometimes undergo these positives and negative changes in battle. They're usually trigger triggered by abilities and are sometimes represented by the following symbols. Stun, protect, shell, reflect, KO, face, bravery, haste, regen, strength, up or down, defense, up or down, magic defense, up or down, evasion, up or down, accuracy, up or down, and magic, up or down. Not done yet! Okay, so does that mean it is weak against ice and whatever that symbol down there is? Uh, and is it strong to wind and earth? Uh, I'm gonna guess so. Oh, that's cool. You can even see your character's stuff. There! A prism tunity! Use the imprism command to declaim that mirage for your own. Go on! The select the imprism command! You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. I am using the fast forward command every now and again. Yeah. So the imprison command says. Okay. okay, that worked. We did it! We did it! Predictable. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this right here, guys, and go ahead and continue into the next one from here. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm really glad to keep uh, to have this game now. And like I said at the beginning of this, I was recording this, or I actually am recording this, present tense, my bad. I am recording this on Christmas Day. It is 2.25 as of right now. Um, so if you guys... Uh, just because it's Christmas right now. I'm going to go ahead and say it, but Merry Christmas uh, and have a Happy New Year. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time, guys. Bye.